Hello, this is Roberto and today we are looking at something very fascinating. Things that you can find in Indonesia, gadgets, electronic gadgets that you can find in Indonesia. So searching for a sort of a Game Boy, you can go in places like Tokopedia and uh, when you search you find things like this, things like this. Consider that 135,000 rupiah is like eight dollars, nine dollars, okay? So this is less than ten dollars. So how do this device work? You see, they're all below ten dollars. The cost is very cheap. These things are fully pirate. There is no copyright. And we're gonna go and see how this device, I ordered one, two for you, and we're gonna analyze them. Here it is the device. I've been charging it for a while. I removed the charger. And uh, it, first of all, it's interesting to see how it looks. The battery is actually a cell phone battery. And uh, this, if you order the battery alone, uh, if you order this thing alone, you will find out that uh, it's more expensive to buy a battery replacement for a cell phone then buying the full thing that includes the battery inside. Then there is uh, the game cartridge. This is a very good uh, old-fashioned way to load games in a device. It enters in a little bit of... Uh, uh, it's not so easy to put it inside. And then there are there is a charging cable, a volume, which we're gonna take it low because things here are very loud, and a small switch. Let's try to turn on the device. Okay. There is a list of uh, potential game. You can scroll. Okay, this is uh, a game that uh, has uh, about uh, 40 years okay there is the guy skiing <coughs> not sure what I have to do okay <laughs> let's see something else Okay, there are really many games from uh, decades ago. It's very dark, very hard to see. I know why the battery is finished. Okay, well, um, this was a, a small overview of this small device that I've done as a test to see how my system works when I record something. Thank you for watching, okay? And uh, till the next time.